In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes each and every one of us this morning. And as we have decided to spend this time with Jesus, as we have entered into the presence of the Lord, let us first and foremost thank the Lord for giving us this opportunity to spend with Him, to pray with Him, a time to share with Him all our difficulties, all our shortcomings, a time to share with Him all our worries, anxieties, joys, hopes and sorrows. And therefore, as we spend this time with Him, let us pray for the grace that whatever we may do today, we may be fully convinced that we may understand why we are doing certain things. And above all, that we may be able to see the presence of God in the things around us. That we may experience God through our interaction with others. And that whatever we may do, may fully lead us to praise and glorify Lord. And therefore, as we begin today's morning prayer, let us begin by reflecting and meditating on Psalm 33. Now the psalm begins, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Praise the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. And therefore the psalm begins with an invitation to praise the Lord. To praise the Lord with our talents, to praise the Lord with our actions, to praise the Lord with the way we interact with one another. Because we see that all of us have been given various gifts by the Lord. The Lord has been gracious to us in so many ways. He has blessed us abundantly. He has given us graces. He has given us talents, abilities. And therefore we are expected to use these talents and abilities in order to praise Him, in order to make a difference in the lives of others. And the best way in order to thank the Lord for the talents, for the gifts, for the opportunities that He has given us is to make the appropriate use of these talents and opportunities, not only selfishly for ourselves, but for the common good. It is only when we do this that the Lord is really happy, the Lord is pleased with what we do. The psalm continues, For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice, and the earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all their host by the breath of his mouth. And once again here, we are told about the characteristics or the qualities of God. The Lord is upright. Whatever he does is done in faithfulness. And therefore everything in life has a purpose. All of us have a particular plan. God has made a particular plan for us. And therefore he expects us to follow that plan. Sometimes we see that we tend to get disappointed, we tend to get a bit angry or anxious about certain things. And this basically happens when we tend to deviate or go away from the plan that the Lord has for us. And therefore being attentive, being able to fully understand what is happening around us, Paying attention to the signs of the times becomes very important. The psalm also tells us that the Lord loves righteousness and justice. And therefore, he also invites us to be just in whatever we do. The psalm continues. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and their host by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a bottle. He put the deeps in storehouses and here we see that the wonderful creation of the Lord 
the earth and all its creation. Therefore, we see that we need to thank the Lord. And it is a responsibility, in other words, to take care of God's creation. However, sometimes, because of our selfishness, because of our greed, we tend to misuse creation. And as we know that we have misused the earth and taken even some of the creatures right to the point of extinction. And this all has been because of the greed of man, the need to accumulate, the need to get more and more. And therefore, we ask the Lord pardon for all these times wherein we too have done things selfishly without thinking of the others, wherein we have only thought about ourselves and not paid attention to the needs of the others. The psalm continues, let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He frustrates the plans of the people. The counsel of the Lord stands firm forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. And once again, this psalm speaks about the ability of the Lord, all that the Lord is able to do. And therefore, what is important for us is to collaborate with the Lord, to collaborate in his plan, to collaborate in his effort to make this world a better place. The psalm continues, Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven, he sees all humankind. From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. And in a way, since all of us are made in the image, of image and likeness of God, it therefore is natural that we also need to respect one another. Because everyone is made in the image and likeness of God. And therefore, when we hurt somebody or when we try to go against another person, when we disrespect somebody, we also disrespect the creation of God and in a way indirectly we are also disrespecting God. Therefore, if we are to build a fraternal society, if we are to build a society where there is love, peace and joy, we need to respect one another and collaborate and cooperate together helping God in making his plan a success. The psalm continues. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory and by its great might it cannot save. Truly the eye of the Lord is those who fear him on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. And therefore we need to place our faith and trust in the Lord. Sometimes what happens is that we place our trust in material things. Sometimes just because we are able to do one thing properly, we think that we can do everything, that we have the power to do everything. And when we place our trust and faith on material objects, on objects of the world, we see that we tend to break away from our relationship with God. And therefore, the psalm exalts us to strengthen our relationship with the Lord because without the Lord, we cannot do anything. And the psalm concludes by saying that our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. And therefore, let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us even as we hope in you. And therefore, the psalm ends by inviting us to place our faith and trust in the Lord. My dear friends, let us now close our eyes at this morning hour and let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord for all that he has done for us right from the time of our birth, right until now. And let us thank him for all that he will do for us throughout this day and throughout our lives. Lord, we thank you 
For you have given us the time in this morning. You have given us the gift of this new day. A day to spend with others. A day to complete certain things. A day to make a difference in the lives of others. You have been gracious to us in so many ways. You have given us your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away our sins and given us a new lease of life. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that we may make proper use of this second opportunity that is given to us. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and to protect us. You have protected us, Lord. You have guarded us all through the night. You have given us this hour to spend time with you. And for all this, Lord, we thank you, praise you and glorify you. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of people in our lives, people who help us, people who inspire us, people who have contributed and made us who we are. It could be our friends, family members, relatives and well-wishers. Lord, we thank you for their gift in our lives and we also ask you that you bless them abundantly. Lord, you are always merciful. You have blessed us in so many ways. You protect us, O Lord. You guide us. And therefore, as we reflect on this Psalm 33, let us spend some time in silence allowing the psalm to take root in us, trying to listen to what the psalm exactly wants to tell us. Let us allow the psalm to move us so that we may take something that we can apply in our lives and together we too may be able to use our talents, our opportunities for the betterment of society in order to uplift the others and together we may use it for the common good. So as we spend this time in silence, let us ask the Lord to guide us, to lead us, so that whatever we may do, it may be in conformity with His plan. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. The Intention of the Holy Father for the month of February for parishes we pray that parishes placing communion at the center may increasingly become communities of faith fraternity and welcome towards those most in need 
our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart 
of every man who thinks of me Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me Christ in the eye that sees me Christ in the ear that hears me Amen The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared to Mary and she conceived of the Holy Spirit Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord. So that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph i never weary contemplating you and jesus asleep in your arms i dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear 
for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen pray to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit 
have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us mother of mercy pray for us mother of divine grace pray for us mother of hope pray for us mother most pure pray for us mother most chaste pray for us mother inviolate pray for us mother undefiled pray for us mother most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us star of david pray for us star of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ 
let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen prayer to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen act of adoration o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine saint jetrud pray for souls in purgatory eternal father i offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son jesus in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory for sinners everywhere for sinners in the universal church those in my own home and within my family amen may the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen